it's me, Joe, and I'm back with another reaction. Now, took us about time, don't you think? TF2 analysis is back. <laughs> oh, sorry I'm a little late on this. Well, a day late. I just wanted to give them some time up, and plus I just, ugh, rough little, I had a rough Friday. Ugh. But, Better late than never, shall I say. Oh, we've been waiting for TF2 analysis for a while. Now you're probably wondering, wait a minute, aren't they still doing pyro stuff? Pyromancer stuff? Yes, I am. Don't worry. It's just, come, it's TF2. Come on. Oh, I have waited a long time for these guys to come out. And now they are back. And I am happy. Oh. So I'm just going to just go do the standard intro and then get right into it. So before you watch this video, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and of course follow me on all my social media down below in the description. And if you want to support my channel, you feel free to support me on Patreon. Now let's get into TF2 analysis, shall we? This is Keep Moving Forward. Oh boy. Let's see what happens with our favorite TF2 crew in 3, 2, 1, and play. Oh, Mad Munchkin actually uh, worked on this. Wow, I guess Blissey was finally able to take a break. Or they tied her to a chair and forced her to take a break. Uh-oh. Oh dear. Bye, boys. Well, it seems like things are back to normal. Miss Abby, I didn't realize that you were working on your art whilst we were in the middle of a match. Oh, uh, hey, Doc. Don't mind me. I guess I'm used to working with chaos in the background, so I must have gone into the zone. Just figured I'd take advantage of some of the free canvas space here to leave up some art for the other team members. Hope they like them. It is quite impressive, I will admit. With all the carnage that typically happens around here, I suppose these little pieces of creativity help us not to forget about those calm little moments of joy in life. Yeah. Um, Doc, if you don't mind my observation, you seem a bit down. Ah, uh, yes. My apologies. I guess my mind is a little too distracted today. No? It wasn't too long ago that we very nearly lost everything here. That's true. Mm. That was a bit of a hot mess, wasn't it? A bit of a hot hey, mess? we all made it through okay in the end, right? Well, yes. But still, for some, it was just too much. Hey now, I know many team members opted to part ways recently, but you aren't blaming yourself for them leaving, are you? There's nothing wrong with them wanting to try new things. No, that of course not. Change friendship. I am grateful that I could help keep them all safe. I'm grateful for everything we had all accomplished together. And I don't blame anyone for having other priorities. It'd be foolish of me to think that things could stay as they were forever. Change is inevitable, after all. But aside from that pain of loss, I can tell that I'm feeling a lot more tired than I used to. To feel so drained after having worked so hard only to see that it just wasn't enough, I can imagine that would wear most anyone down. Hold on now. I wouldn't say your efforts weren't enough. 
Look at everything you've accomplished together over so many years. You all looked out for each other for so long. You all mm -hmm. learned from each other and built even stronger friendships. Hell you yeah! You helped me be step into my element, Doc. Them both. And not as two teams, but as one unified force. Using mm. all that you'd learned and all of you the You kicked butt during activated. the robot invasion. I'd consider that empowering. Mm. Inspiring. You're understandably tired, as I'm sure the rest of the crew is too. But you shouldn't think all the good that you have accomplished wasn't enough. Like mm -hmm. you said, change is inevitable. But even a stubborn mare like me finds beauty in that. Mm -hmm. Team members parting ways doesn't mean they leave and forget. Oh it just no! Means there's so much more. There's for them no. To learn. There's no getting rid of the so big many kitchen. Ways for them to grow and become better versions of themselves. And that Sweetie's while, always gonna stick around. I mean, come on, it's Sweetie. They continue on their journeys in life. And ink. you know, life isn't stuck to one classroom. It doesn't hurt to explore and keep. She's growing. always gonna be around somewhere. I mean, I, I suppose that's just my opinion, but uh, food for thought. Hmm. Jeez, has all this alone time made me go philosophical? You're becoming the therapist. <laughs> I'm curious, though. How have you been feeling since Miss Keyframe moved on? You two are the best of friends. She was the reason why you joined us out here in the first place. If I might ask, what makes you want to stick around? Well... I'll admit, I do miss her. A lot. Mm. And she may be my sister, but we've known each other for years, and I fully support her wanting to spread her wings. It Hell doesn't yeah. change a thing about our friendship. At the same time, I've started to grow friendships here too. On top of that, my stubbornness translates to two particular things. Fierce loyalty and determination to see things through. I've made friends here and I'm willing to stand and fight for them. Had a girl. <laughs> Even if my means of showing it for now is covering Cold Town in lovingly crafted graffiti. Hey! But in all seriousness, I think he proved at the very end what she'd wanted to prove to everyone, but especially herself. That she was an incredibly capable leader. Something I knew she was all along. I was so happy to see her come into her own and reach her full potential in her role here. <sighs> and that's something she'll carry with her into her future endeavors. She had some good role models around to help her get there, wouldn't you say? <laughs> huh. I guess it's been a little difficult for me to see that perspective, since everyone looks to me to lead them. You know, you don't always have to be in leader mode. Nobody has all of the answers. Oh, Friends no. can help you so you can find those answers together. Sharing the load, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Kind of like what we're doing now, right? A second set of eyes and ears only means more clarity. Man, this one's hitting the feels. So, are you ever going to tell them? Tell them what? <laughs> oh! Demon that is our is bad is still Everyone knows since MLPG4 is no longer airing, friendship is no longer magic. All you ponies ever do is disappoint and betray me. Cheating, stealing, and worst of all, friends me! The red team are moving gagging around like the lazy flex they are, and the blue team are I heard something about a whoopee cushion and a tangerine, I don't know. All My apologies for cutting this short, Abby, but time to get back to the grind. Mm. Thank you kindly for being a listening ear, though. I think it did help a bit. My pleasure, Doc. <sighs> I guess it will all come down to when he's ready to tell them. Tell them what? Really? A cliffhanger? You're gonna drop this, Lois? 
Knox got something you can tell us and you're gonna... Uh, uh, <sighs> of course they leave on a cliffhanger. Isn't that always the way? Oh, well now we got something else to look forward to in... And Doc, my canine compatriot. Just go, just go around and ask for head scratches. Head scratches make everything better. <laughs> Uh, but now we, oh my gosh, but still, amazing work by Mad Munchkin this time. Again, I'm surprised that Blissey willingly <laughs> took a break. Which is why I half believe they like, they had to have tied her to a chair or something, or, I don't know, dangled a cookie in front of her or something, and then locked her in a room. I can almost imagine, let me out! Let me work! <laughs> no, Lightning, you need a break. I don't need no stinking break! Let <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's how they did it. Don't you think, Koa? Hell, knowing Blissey and her like for you, Templex says there, there was just a picture of you and a cookie, because you are adorable. Aren't you, Koa? Oh, well, another interesting video by the TF2 crew. Hopefully, hopefully this to-be-continued thing gets answered pretty soon, because now I'm worried about Doc. I gotta worry about my canine cousins. <sighs> well, another fun video. It was a great react, great view. I loved it as always. And well, now we get back to pyro stuff, pyro banter stuff. So until the next video, you know who I am. I know who you are, and I love you all in the next video. You want to get your two cents in this time? Okay. Jeez. Now you're letting the pain go to your head, buddy. God. Man, you get more pain than me.